Attention ladies and gentlemen, on a scale from 0 to 10, how is my audio? Please let me know if you all can hear me okay. I hope you can hear me okay and I hope you can see me okay since today we'll be talking about one of the most important tools in quality management that is Pareto but um, on a different angle yeah on a different angle I'll be talking about the important the important weighted Pareto okay hello Luis tudo bom você tá bem uh, happy new year everybody everybody hello Lindell I hope you can hear me okay yes perfect perfect so I need to ask you please type here in our chat window uh, if you've heard about Pareto I would say like the classic Pareto on a scale on a scale from 1 to 10 how comfortable are you with Pareto please type here for me how comfortable are you on a scale from 0 to 10 from 0 to 10 hello Fidel hello Vindra hello Lindel hello Hermon hello Bolaji hello uh, Luis hello Charles he wonderful wonderful excellent excellent so let's talk let's talk a little bit about Pareto okay I think it's very important to talk about um, Pareto chart yeah hello hello Natalia uh, it's a pleasure to have you all here okay it's a pleasure to have you all here uh, Pareto Vilfredo Pareto um, is originally he's originally from from in fact, he was born in Paris, in France, uh, but it's an Italian yeah, person, was an Italian person that found out that 80% of the capital, of the money in Italy was concentrated in 20% of the people, you know, 20% of the population, let's say. So suggesting some sort of... Um, of uh, uh, unequal distribution of the capital yeah so Joseph Churan one of the most important quality gurus of all times he used this concept for quality yeah mainly mainly for the distribution of different types of defects you know so let's suppose you have in a production line or, or or in a service industry you have 10 types of of problems you know of defects let's say um we do have we do have an inclination to direct the same amount of energy to solve all problems you know and this is wrong this is wrong this is wrong because we are limited. We do have a certain amount of energy to be spent. Yeah? We have, unfortunately, we have limited time, limited resources in general, limited money, limited energy in general. Yeah? So it's absolutely mandatory that we spend time to understand and to rank things yeah and we can expand this mentality to life you know yeah we can expand this way of thinking to life in general we must rank we must rank the things that we need to do the things that we need to do otherwise you can you can operate you will increase the risk of operating of touching things that are not relevant yeah that are not relevant and you definitely do not want to touch things that are not relevant yeah and so that's where uh, Pareto plays a very important very important role thank you so much charlie same for you happy new year for you and for your family okay 
a very important role okay and I wanna I wanna show here uh, let's say the classic the classic Pareto yeah the classic Pareto if you are new to this channel I am opening up a software named uh, Minitab okay it's um it's a very famous very uh, powerful uh, statistical uh, software okay that will help us to present here a a Pareto so uh, we can put for example different types of let, let me be very you know generic here problems you know problems and so we have uh, for example in my in my lovely and 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 uh, and uh, dear you know cheese bread here I can say that the cheese bread can be uh, and can be raw for example I can say that my cheese bread can be burned yeah I can say that my cheese bread is too small I can say that my cheese bread is too big yeah so I do have different types of problems when I talk about my my cheese bread yes and again it you can expand this to any corporate problem regardless if we are talking about service or manufacturing yeah we can say that my cheese bread is missing cheese this is serious yeah and let's talk about this okay let's talk about this and then normally normally like the regular Pareto the regular Pareto will consider only one dimension only one dimension that is frequency you know so how many problems how many cheese breads I took and it was uncooked you know it was not properly cooked it was raw you know so normally what we have here is frequency frequency you know so let's say 10 and then how many burnt cheese bread let's say 18 how many cheese breads were too small let's say five how many cheese breads were too big it's a problem too let's say 32 and how many cheese breads were missing cheese you know so I would say 22 for example yeah and then we can run we can run um, our our Pareto you know yeah just checking my zoom functionality here in under stat quality tools and then we have Pareto chart yeah so we have stat quality tools and Pareto chart yeah so stat quality tools Pareto chart so I'll pretty much indicate here my problems and frequency you know and frequency pretty much that yeah pretty much that and just hit OK and just hit OK and then again here we have one of the most famous you know quality tools in this planet yeah that is Pareto chart yeah and just a quick 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 review here I can see that 36.8 percent of my problems are related to you know are classified as too big cheese breads 25.3 percent missing cheese and then I can check both of them you know so the accumulated you know uh, I can here consider both problems too big and also missing cheese the total will be 62.1 percent yeah burned cheese bread only 20.7 percent only <laughs> and then if I add up to the 62.1 I'll have 82.8 yeah and always this curve here cumulative cumulative percentage will add up to 100% always yeah I have 100%
Yeah, so this is the famous Pareto and normally we like to, to explore the concept of 80-20. Yeah, we like to, you know, to check, we like to check 80% of the, of the problems. Yeah, 80%. Where is the 80% mark? Uh, the 80% mark is here, 80, 80 something. Yes. And then, and then it is expected. It is expected. Mm, it is expected. Um, we can say, we can say that theoretically, theoretically, um, 80% of the problems, you know, tend to be concentrated in a very, very small portion of the items, of the items. So how many items do I have here? I have five items, five different types of problems. Yeah. So out of these five items, 80%, that's a huge proportion, 80% is concentrated in only only three of them yeah so three out of five sixty percent so here i don't have a pareto that is 80 20. i have 80 percent of the problems concentrated in 60 60 why one two three yeah divided by five sixty percent of the problems you know still something like it's it's a relevant information you know it's a relevant information if you have resources time money to tackle only three problems now you know now you know the three problems that you should tackle yes type here for me in our chat window if it makes sense for you so far type here in our chat window if that makes sense for you so far yeah so that's the importance. That's the importance of running uh, a Pareto. So you minimize the chances of, you know, tackling, of spending energy and money, you know, on things that are not very much relevant. Yeah. But now today I would like to explore today. I would like to explore. Um, a, a variation of Pareto, let's say a more sophisticated version of the Pareto, that is what we call weighted, weighted Pareto, yeah, weighted Pareto. Uh, and why? Type here in our chat window. Why, why should we care, you know, why should we care about, you know, Pareto uh, in, in the version that was presented so far. I mean, why should we worry about using, you know, using the Pareto as it is presented so far? You know, thank you, Carmi. Thank you. The same for you and your family. Thank you so much. Why, <coughs> you know, why should we care? Why should we worry about the Pareto as it is? So Pareto is Pareto is a very powerful tool, pretty much to measure to measure, yeah, the the size of the problems to rank them and also to analyze analyze to help us to analyze analyze current processes in order to take actions yes because it's pretty much define the problem measure the size of the problem analyze and find root cause and then implement actions define and execute actions and then control so I mean, what 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 what's the what's the problem you know of this? What's the limitation of these two? So let's see here. Some causes of problems are more significant than others. This is what Lindell said. Uh, Bolage said Pareto helps to focus energy on significant bias or defects. Perfect. Vindra said 
fixing the problem identifying identified may have different costs financial costs resources and some problems may have related uh, effects and consequences yeah so yeah 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 <coughs> I'll cut to the chase you know I'll go straight to the point frequency can be tricky frequency many times it is necessary but not enough to make decisions I'll say that again frequency is important but many times frequency is not enough to make important decisions you must consider on top of frequency other elements for example cost severity of the defective item to the customer safety reputation and when you consider these factors in conjunction to frequency then you have a much more powerful Pareto a much more powerful Pareto yeah so that's what we'll be exploring today that's what we'll be exploring yeah perfect So let me share here with you. There are many different ways like to consider, you know, multiple dimensions, multiple dimensions. One of them is simply by um, adding here severity, for example, severity, severity or internal cost internal cost you know internal cost so we can talk about the severity and, and here I am using let's say the concept from FMEA failure mode and effect analysis here I'm talking about the severity in terms of the how can we measure how can we quantify the negative impact to the customer you know so when customer when customer takes a raw cheese bread and then flow you know what the severity it's qualitative it's quality we can scale that qualitatively yeah so I would say the severity is for for, for raw cheese bread the severity is a six you know because then the customer will complain you need to you know to scrap this cheese bread and then you need to to substitute to another cheese bread you know so let's say on any scale from one to to ten you know it's a six and and we can add here poisoned poisoned cheese bread you know and let's say two cheese breads you know uh, or let's say 10 cheese breads yeah because poisoned the severity is definitely 10 and if we compare poisoned versus raw I would say that maybe this is a five burned cheese bread uh, maybe it's a it's a five two two is small customer will complain but it's easy to substitute too big maybe it's not a problem so maybe severity is one you know and missing cheese I would say it's a three so we have different severities different severities yeah and here you can do different things with that you can simply plot a Pareto for severity regardless frequency regardless frequency and then you can do for example stat quality tools Pareto chart and then instead of uh, frequency you can just change to severity you know and 
pretty much go ahead and plot then you know that the most critical type of problem is is, is poisoned you know burnt raw too small missing cheese and then I, and by the way you can eliminate this order in case you want okay there's an option here control e as in edit yeah you can change to do not combine in case you don't want to have order and in case you don't have that many items when you have many many items then i strongly recommend you to to leave orders there okay uh this is one way to use Pareto so you highlight that poisoned is the most important most critical problem but it's definitely not the best way to use definitely not the best way to use yeah and um, my recommendation in this case is definitely to associate these two variables to associate these two variables yeah definitely to associate these two variables and how would you associate well i had 10 cheese breads you know and uh, each raw cheese breads uh, and the severity of this problem is five so you can simply multiply simply frequency times severity yeah you can simply multiply frequency times severity yeah so let's understand what is 50 50 50 it's it's a kind of a it's a frequency but consider you know weighted you know considered adjusted adjusted considering severity yeah so adjusted weighted by severity yeah weighted by severity and then you have burned and then you have too small too big missing cheese and poisoned and i believe you guys know where i'm going right now because when i plot now a pareto and i plot a pareto of frequency times severity yeah see that this pareto is very much different from this pareto here yeah let me put the two of them side by side yeah so see that I have here without considering severity you know my, the most important problem to be you know to be solved was like too big you know let's let's tackle you know let's tackle let's tackle too big yeah but if we consider severity then poisoned you know is the most important yeah so see that the results are different the results are different yeah and then there is a question why to weight things why to weight things see one of the most important so we do study process mapping uh, project charter root cause analysis measurement system analysis capability analysis control charts process stability we do talk about design of experiments we do talk about a lot of fancy tools and techniques yeah and methods we do talk about many 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 tools techniques and methods but why 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 are we studying these things because we want to be more assertive we want to be more assertive type here in one word one word that translates the sensation of facing a problem taking the right solution after 
an analysis, you know, professionally and also on the personal point of view. Type here one word that translates the sensation of you have a problem, you are facing a problem, and then you address a proper solution, and then you take the right action, you know, and then you see the problem, you see the problem reducing, you know. So type here for me one word that translates this amazing sensation, you know, this amazing sensation. So we want to be assertive. We want to be assertive. So when we wait things, when we wait things, we are having a much more, a much more accurate, accurate picture in terms of the problem. We are having a much, much more accurate, you know, non-biased, non-biased. Because see, when I use a Pareto, what I'm trying to do is pretty much, okay, I have six problems to solve. I have six problems to solve. So I should focus, I should direct my my energy, you know, to which problems or to which problem should I focus on cheese breads that are too big? Should I focus on cheese breads that are missing cheese? Should I focus on burned cheese breads? Should I focus on poisoned cheese breads? Should I focus on, you know, uncooked cheese bread? Where should I focus? Where should I focus? Yeah, and again, if I consider only frequency and I had only one problem, you know, to, I have capacity to solve only one problem, I would pick which one? I would pick this too big, you know, I would pick this one. But if I consider not only frequency, but also severity, then I will be tackling poisoned you know because it's like i am saying that it's this is very very interesting this is very beautiful in fact what i am saying here is that 10 poisoned cheese breads are way more critical than 18 burnt cheese breads i'll say that again i'll say that again what I'm saying is 10 poisoned cheese breads are way more critical than 18 burnt cheese breads. Yeah. Thank you, Onieka. Yeah, no, it's a great question. It's a great question. Yeah, we wanna we wanna be more assertive. And I, I don't know if you guys agree with me, but it's really about being closer to the truth. Yeah, I don't know if this is too deep to say, but when we apply the tool or the method um, more correctly, uh, we are being closer to the truth. Yeah, because see that after analyze will be in designing and implementing solutions and implementing actions you know and implementing actions so we want to implement the right actions the right solutions yeah when with waiting we are being more comprehensive and closer to solving the problem we want um, yeah, Vindra, and also the problem that is the right problem to be solved or the most critical one. Yeah, it has to do with prioritization. We want to prioritize to properly direct the energy, you know, to the right things. Yeah. What about when considering cost and it ends up being on top, but too expensive to implement? within financial year that's a great question charlie's great question because see one thing is the relevance of the problem 
that's one thing another thing is how easy it is to solve this problem does it make sense two different things two different dimensions here we are focused on only in how relevant how relevant is this problem and then there are different ways to picture to present relevance and after we have the our rank in terms of of importance relevance of the problems there is another conversation that is the famous impact effort conversation impact effort conversation because you will be trying and we do explore this in our green belt training there is a tool by the way it's a tool impact effort matrix we will be trying to to find as many as possible as many as possible elements in the quadrant high impact low effort low effort doesn't mean being lazy no it's like it's really it's 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 easy or it's easier to implement easier in terms of time in terms of you know, resources in terms of knowledge about that problem you know and many times we have problems that are relevant so the impact is critical the impact to the business will be critical if we solve this problem but the effort will be critical will be high the general recommendation charlie's is when you have this kind of situation you need to phase phase the um, the project that will solve that problem so let's suppose in order to get brazil back to win a world cup let's suppose that's the problem you know how can brazil or at least brazil reach the semi-finals again <laughs> let's target brazil to at least to reach the semi-finals so we have four years you know until the next world cup uh it's not an easy problem to solve the effort i understand that is huge so you can phase you can split this project or you can transform this project into a program and then you can run you know multiple smaller projects yes phase phase one phase two phase three yeah then you iterate then you then you learn from each phase does it make sense and then when you have low impact and low effort you need to be careful maybe there is a very bad joke that i don't like that but people say that low effort and um and low low impact it's like intern <laughs> intern uh job you know but i don't like this 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 joke um, and then you can also check if you are not operating on what we call dog like the worst type of uh, of, uh, of problem to be tackled that is high low impact low impact and high effort <laughs> and believe me ladies and gentlemen believe me it's incredible it's incredible how many initiatives fall in this quadrant try to do this in your regular life in your personal life four quadrants and try to list things that do not add any value to your life and and also it consumes a lot of energy from yourself you will see you will see that you are you are definitely you know running projects or 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 immersed you know in actions 
that are exactly like this you know the effort is high and the impact the positive consequences to the business or to your i'm sorry in this case to your personal life the the consequences are minimal you know the benefits are minimal try to check this on relationships you know on a like uh yeah maybe here i'm talking too much but like family relationship like friends relationship you know yeah it's very interesting very interesting very interesting uh, and then we need to be very careful very careful yes you was many times we are not aware we are not aware we don't yeah many times we do not stop you know and analyze and uh, and reflect about you know and reflect about uh, the, 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 the things that we are doing, the projects that we are involved, the dinners where we are going, <laughs> the meetings. Ai! Ai, ai, ai! Brasil, Brasil! Wow. Attention, ladies and gentlemen. In 2023, you need to check how many meetings would be classified as low impact and high effort <laughs> how many meetings how many meetings are you participating where you are pretty much spending time energy and um and very minimal very minimal you know true true value true value true value I think, yeah, meetings are classic, classic example, yeah? Yes, Ana. <laughs> if my memory is okay, I think we are talking to a certified green belt. Is that correct, Sana? Are you a relatively recent Recent certified green belt. And if my memory is good, you are based in Middle East. <laughs> congratulations, Sam. Now now let's say publicly, publicly, congratulations, Sam. I am proud of you. I am proud of your of your achievement. Yeah. By the way, type here for me, where are you in the Lean Six Sigma journey? Type here for me, guys. Where are you? Are you a white, yellow, green, black, master black belt? Or maybe you still did not start your, your journey. Okay, we have yellow, we have white. Okay, student of yellow green. Green on going. <laughs> white, perfect. Perfect. Excellent. Yeah, just just a quick reminder that we'll have another white belt uh, next Monday. Oh, next Monday. So on January 9th, so you, if you are interested in becoming a white belt or if you want to come for a refresh, that's amazing. You'll be very much welcomed. And every time that we open up for white belts, we do offer at the end uh, the combo yellow and green. Yeah, we will not be offering yellow belt alone anymore. Now yellow belt will only be part of our green belt program yeah so we offer the combo yellow and green belt and um, every time that we open up for registration for the first 24 hours we have a very special condition very special condition there is a bonus there is a special discount you know so stay tuned if you are interested in joining us in our next um, yellow 
plus green belt wave stay tuned uh, January 9 10 11 yeah so from January 11th to 12th this 24 hours if I am not wrong uh, 7 p.m. we are using as reference the South Africa time yeah so from 7 p.m. South Africa time um, June 11th to 7 p.m. Uh, January 11th to January 12th okay if the significant bias defect has high impact on the brand image then the management must take urgent step towards reducing its occurrence during production yes Bolaji so see here I have used severity you can definitely use as like to weight your Pareto to adjust your Pareto you can definitely use potential negative impact to branding in terms of branding you can definitely use that um, definitely use that it's a different dimension yeah it's a different dimension yeah I want to show here it's a it's a, it's not exactly weighted Pareto you know it has to do more with uh, with stratification you know so sometimes <clears throat> let me see the best way to to show is to you guys sometimes you have for example Sometimes you have something like this. You have 10 that are, um, you, out of the 10, you have five that is severity high. Yeah, that is severity high. Uh, and then you have three that are severity medium and then you have two that are severity low you know so probably you guys know where I'm going so now I have a different way to to express you know you guys will see Or let me simplify that. Let me simplify that. Let me simplify that. Um, plant. Let's say this is Brazil. You know. This is Brazil. This is Argentina. Champions. They are the champions. They are the champions. And then. Spain, yeah. And let me just put like so again, it 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 has not it has not to do uh, let's say with exactly with weighting your Pareto it has more to do with segmenting with stratifying but I think it's super cool and extremely useful extremely useful okay so one of the things that you can do if you just run a Pareto considering like problems and frequency all of them all of them you have something like this
you have something like this yeah okay so the most critical problem is too big yeah cheese breads that are too big but see that you are missing an opportunity to segment to stratify so in terms of granularity you know it's not very it's not the best way to present that you know because should we tackle uh two big cheese breads in argentina brazil and spain at the same time so you know one of the most useful concepts when you are analyzing a problem is segmentation stratification so powerful so powerful so you can break down here by plant and then you have different options here yeah let's go through all of them you have the default yeah that you have like uh, then uh, we are not ranking we are keeping the same sequence yeah so we can see too big for argentina too big for spain too big for brazil yeah for brazil too big is the most critical but for argentina no for argentina the most critical problem is missing cheese yeah the red is missing cheese for spain it's too small see so if you just go across the board and say yes for all three countries you know yes we need to reduce you know these problem let's focus on this problem you know too big too big cheese bread if you if you make a decision you know based on this let's say general Pareto you know you may may miss important opportunities yeah so see Argentina the most important problem is not too big as in Brazil it's again missing cheese and for Spain it is too small so if you have a chance to segment you know segmentation is gold segmentation is powerful 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 segmentation is a powerful concept very powerful concept yeah does it make sense type here for me did you guys enjoy this this Pareto here yeah and then you can also one group per graph same ordering of bars you know so we'll have like three different Pareto's and then you can also have one group per graph independent ordering of bars and here just to respect a certain property of Pareto that is always to go from you know from the highest frequency to the lowest frequency yeah wonderful questions 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 ladies and gentlemen question ladies and gentlemen yeah wonderful i'm glad to know that william daniel olubi olubi iwazi yeah very powerful very powerful ladies and gentlemen that's it that's it thank you so much for joining me live in this session it's always a pleasure to be with you here i will do all my best to come here uh, frequently you know to spend at least 30 minutes and normally i try to keep it max one hour to respect your time too and i hope this session was helpful for you and I am look, looking forward to being with you all again soon. And again, if you want to join us in our white belt training, it will be next Monday. Okay? Thank you, Vindra, Charles, Yuazi, Olubi, Daniel, uh, Onyeka, Bulaji. Thank you so much, guys. And once again, have an amazing start of year. Yeah? And I am sure, I feel confident that it will be an amazing year for all of us. Bye-bye.